when they try to say that you know all these programs we don't need. Yeah, until your ass, then we find out you use the same damn programs to get what you needed, and then you turn around. Uh, you know, like wasn't it uh, Paul Ryan? Uh, uh, his his. Uh, they receive Social Security as well as welfare and all this stuff. Now, we don't need to, we need to cut welfare. We need to, do, wait a minute, fucker. That's how your mom was able to take care of you. Yeah, that's don't, true. Don't kill, well, I mean, don't kill I, the program. Yeah, but he doesn't need it anymore, so. <laughs> yeah, that's where, like, yeah. I, I know that, like, having studied economics, I understand, like, the value of markets and how they work to efficiently allocate resources. Like, that's something pretty valid if you look into it compared to, like, uh, top-down government governed uh, allocation of resources, right? Just looking at that from a theoretical standpoint. But do markets fail? Yes, they do. They do fail, and that's where the government's do- supposed to intervene and have this combination of markets allocating things efficiently and the government kind of being the lubricant there, helping it move along but do we need a lot of people on that. That. Do we, should we have regulations yes yes okay Absolutely. Now, yeah okay so i mean because you know they want to get rid of the regulations they want them gone we, yeah, well, well, yeah and that's so, ridiculous well they want the regulations gone because they say well well you know this, you're you're uh, uh stymieing the 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 uh economy you the economy's not moving well see every time we take our foot up off the gas and let you in a little bit you get greedy that's right so here, here's and, here's uh, the pure thing. Greed. here's what's going on really though is because investments that give more reward that would give us that economic boost are are very high risk they have much higher possibility of defaulting and sending us into this like cataclysmic recession in the past right. and so when we put the regulations on that help reduce that risk we're reducing that growth and some people don't want that they want the risk and they want the risk only because they know that the government's leader there's right. that right. and because they're not going to bear the brunt of that the brunt of that risk the downside is going to fall on everybody else and they right. don't give a shit and, and see so see because my thing was then you should not complain because every time if you've noticed i don't know how many documentaries you've seen on this stuff but Every time we we loosen regulations, we end up with trouble. Yes. We, every time. I don't care if it was in the 70s, was it the 70s with Keating? We we loosened uh, regulations on the savings and loan. Boom, we had problems. We did. We 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 had problems with um, Milken, you know, Bosky, all these different guys that have learned, found a way to steal. Yes. And like you said, the little person who doesn't know what the hell a derivative is, is the one who ends up getting screwed. And well, he just wants to work. He's just trying to no, take care of No, everybody's just trying to, like, get their laundry done and get the kids to school or whatever. Right. You know, get, get pay your student loan without, like, losing everything or just, you know, trying to, trying to you know, get to working back, whatever, right. you know? And going going back, just steering right around back to Trump and the wall in Mexico and shut down the government, if that means getting that wall paid for, that... That makes me really sad because the people are like, yeah, do it. And it's only because their brains don't seem to be working in a way that that tracks all the little pieces of the economy that feed into their own lives. Because that's so you, selfish. You could have stopped after the word working. Uh, <laughs> their brains aren't working. Well, on the off chance that there's some Republican listening to this, I don't want to I don't want to make them feel too, <laughs> no, but, you know, too but shitty. That's, that's one of the make things. And, you know, I think um, my mic is getting weird now. Uh, that when you, when you look at, you know, we, we like to use umbrella terms, you know, like Republicans and conservatives, but you know, we're, and not to go with the cliche, not all conservatives, but there's, there's a branch, you know, when, when we're talking, you know, look at, take the, the Hillary Clinton comment about the basket of deplorables. Of course, you know, she was absolutely 100% correct, which has been proven over and over again, especially twice this week, uh, you know, with the fallout from Charlottesville going into the pardoning of Joe Arpaio. Uh, there are deplorable racists, a shitload of them, and they all seem to think that Donald Trump speaks for them because he talks their language. Now, then you get all these other Republicans who may just be fiscal conservatives, but they aren't Nazis. They are not literal Nazis, like the ones that support Trump. But they're related and, to Nazis. But, well, <laughs> they, they are backing the agenda, and they're backing the candidate, but they, they want to say, oh, well, we're not deplorable. This is How could you call us all these names? Look around you and, and see, you know what? You know, so many people have the ability 
to ignore complaints directed at a crowd, you know, well, it's not me, I'm not, I'm not that person, until they want to be the tender, hurt little snowflake that they like to think liberals are. And then, oh my God, how could you call us deplorables? That's so mean. Pull your head out of your ass. And this goes for everybody, you know, because I, I like to bitch a lot about Bernie bros on this show. And uh, this week, I think the figures came out that 10% of Bernie Sanders supporters voted for Donald Trump. So I stand by my complaints about the Bernie bros. And that isn't everybody who supported Bernie Sanders because I supported him through the primaries. And once he wasn't named as the candidate, I decided, okay, it's time to continue to fight for what is right with the candidate who is in the right place to do it. And that happened to be Hillary. But then you had the Bernie bros who, you know, hated Hillary. They bought all the Tea Party bullshit about Hillary and, oh, Vince Foster and Whitewater and, you know, all the crap that has been proven false over the years. But they bought into it. So when we talk about the conservatives who are idiots, there are a number of you out there who should safely say, well, they're, they're not talking about me, but there's plenty more on your side who we are talking about who are going to, well, you ain't talking about me. I'm going to beat him up, you know, or whatever. The pejorative terms are useful, and it, it, I'm sorry, but a wide paintbrush is needed because there are so many. Why is that? Because the people who are at the center of each side of this, be it liberal, be it conservative, and sorry, Kat, not to diss all moderates, but I guess that fits <laughs> in with what I'm doing. But the, the moderates in each party and in each you know, socioeconomic construct, if you don't want to go by party, if you want to go by liberal and conservative, haven't done enough to rein in the crazy people on the fringes of their side and say, yeah, yeah, that's great. We, we definitely have people like that on our team, but this is what we actually stand for. Wait, but know, wait, I've so, been trying to do that, actually. I, I have a couple of friends who are very far on the extreme right, and some of my friends on the left have been like, cut that person off, stop talking to him. And, and, and I've been like, yeah, I should, especially after Charlottesville. I really wanted to just block that person off of Facebook, right. off of everything. But then I said, no, 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 because I need to, to reach out to this person, be a voice of reason, to be a person who debates with them and kind of tries to say, like, hey, you know, maybe you're wrong. Maybe you're wrong and, like, stick around. Even though, for me, at this point, it's like drinking a bucket of vinegar. Right. Yeah, I don't want to hear that shit. What, 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 still what, do it. What, 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 there are though. also, I think there, there are certain phrases like, you know, false flag and inside job that immediately, those are like the, the Ed Hardy shirts of, of political <laughs> conversation. They are. As soon as someone says any of those words, because, yeah, I do agree that we should engage in debate with, with folks on the other side and sometimes with folks on our own side. But when they start talking crazy, it's like, okay, I can see that I, my time would be much better spent, you know, hammering myself with a ball-peen hammer right in the forehead. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to have another drink instead, and you, you go talk your crazy to someone who cares. Well, David, yeah. you know, the thing that's, that's crazy is that when they talk about the far right and the craziness, their, their crazy thing is Nazis, okay? <laughs> Nazis and fascism. Okay, who's crazy on our side? Because our, 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 our boys that now are our girls uh, want to go to the fucking bathroom that they want to feel comfortable in. Who's crazy on our side? I'll Nobody. Tell you, I have an answer. Uh, As a no. Latina, I have an answer. I'm and Latina the, too, bitch. No, just they're, saying. <laughs> and they're in Venezuela, the, right? Those I got people. Family they're in Venezuela they're too. deep throughout Latin America and South America. They're people who uh, really want to upend everything and install a form of government that has been shown historically not to work. And I'm glad well, we don't have a lot of those in this country. Like, I've met uh, people who. Uh, identify as communists i'll say that uh but they're not they're not the same brand you've got in south america uh, and and i agree was, with you there but i we think have those. I, you know with with the venezuelan uh extremist communists i it's the same as with any other struggle it's the extremists uh that you got to watch out for because uh, well communism has been proven over and over not to work on a large scale because of corruption 
I I would say as someone love who, when that happens. Well, when but as <laughs> as someone who experienced firsthand uh, the kibbutz society in in Israel, I can I can tell you that communism does work when it's yeah. kept on a small enough scale when there are checks and balances to avoid the abuses of power. Uh, it can work, but when you blow it up to the size of a government for for an entire country, yeah, it human nature takes over, corruption pervades, and the system falls apart. But a lot of the capitalists and conservatives who like to bitch about how communism is a failed system, look in your own backyard. Look at what's going on in D.C. right now. Right, we it's, have plenty it's, of failures. It's not mm-hmm. communism that's the problem. It's corrupt and unchecked communism, just as we are seeing if, as if we needed an actual example, another one, Corrupt and unchecked capitalism Look, that, is just as bad. Amen. That, I'll that agree par- with that. I'll agree with that. The Republican Party loves to get you with fear. So communism is a scary word. They're even scared of socialism. They're scared of everything that takes any money away from them. And it is the trickle down thing. It is the whole. The, it is that. What was your you know? uh, In the uh, middle? We don't even have a middle class uh, anymore. Uh, you guys, <laughs> what was your thoughts on on Charlottesville, Cat, uh, and on, on what happened? The whole thing. What was your... Uh... Um, my thoughts on Charlottesville. Well... Especially think... with the national, with the tiki torches and the whole, the whole shebang. Yeah, they're, they are a bunch of extremists who... Are, like, they're, they're bad guys, right? Okay. And then the... Like, it's hard to come up with exactly what to say, like, on the spot immediately. Um, but... If, if I can possibly help, they're, they're fucking Nazis. They're, they're, they're bad, they're bad, uh, they're bad Kat, guys. Uh, 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 and, uh, Michelle? Um, I, you know what? In my giant spiritual and uh, political revolution that's happening right now, in my pants, uh-huh. no, ever, <laughs> and in the world... Um, uh, I have to think a little bit about, you know, like you know, I study child development, adolescence, all this stuff. I think about kids. Uh, have you ever seen an evil baby? I've never seen an evil baby. <laughs> okay, those people got that way mm-hmm. for, you know, for certain reasons, okay? Say it's a bunch of reasons that we don't know. Uh, they feel left out, excluded or something or smashed down, oppressed in their own kind of way. And this is how it's coming up in an ugly, fearful way. Mm-hmm. Some people on their side are probably saying, that's my boy. That's my, you know, look at, look at him go out there. Mm-hmm. And plus they do have nice uniforms. I mean, they look nice. You know what I'm saying? The, but you had the, but you I'm had saying, the, you know what I'm saying? But, like it's the fashionista, the swastika, the swastika for fashionista for this fall. But you had your nationals. Okay, which is, you know, yes. you're all right. But, and then you had your clan, right? But they're all oh, the uh, same bitch. No, wait a minute. You know what I'm in saying? Their, <laughs> yeah. In their mind, they don't believe. I don't give a the, fuck if they don't believe. They don't. They, I mean, they I mean, are the, the same. The guys yeah. with the tiki torches basically stated, we're not like them. We are, Don't put me with the clan. How yeah. dare you? Okay. They were pissed that you put them with. And then they Wasps. Said, then white, they said white this prick, Anglo-Saxon Protestant wasps, but, right? But then they said this prick who runs over the crowd, that's not us. But wait a minute. What, the, what did you expect? They inspired yeah, they that. They just the inspired that. I, they're the muse of that. I've they're now formulated, I've formulated my thoughts. Okay. Uh, which is that I think they're all just inspired by this cult of YouTube conspiracies that Uh they've all been listening to between Alex Jones and God knows what other ignorant people with Mm. petting their cats and who have nothing better to do than to edit YouTube videos about Pizzagate. Um, (laughs) They're a bunch of people who've bought into these lies and part of it is communist fear mongering, right? And there's also the the racial fear mongering and part of that is like all put together that the person I know who's involved in that stuff was telling me about um, that they believe that the all the racial identity politics is what's being used by the communists now to break everybody apart so that they can take over, like divide and conquer the country. Because if they can get all of the minorities to rise up against uh, all the whites, instead it, it wouldn't be class warfare because that's not marketable anymore. If it's racial warfare, Even though then you could implement... The, the communist thing and then the, that's the plan and then the communists will take it for it. So that's what so they're, they're trying to basically fight Basically the, the same stuff that Charles Manson was, was plugging yeah. back in the late 60s. It's kind of come back. Um, so, it really is. Like, you know, and, and that's one of the things, if, if I can interrupt, one of the things that really bothers me about all this is 
you know, uh, nobody seems to be paying attention to the historical precedent, or if they do, they warp it in some way, you know, that 